I accepted the firmware update on my Sodi Blu-ray player and I could no longer receive Netflix. In fact, if I tried to touch the Netflix button on the remote or try to access Netflix from the menu, the whole player would die. It wouldn't talk to the TV screen and it wouldn't respond to any commands. I'm going to march you very quickly through all the steps I took with tech support to get it working. Probably you don't need to do all of these, but I don't know which one it is. So let's just go through all of them. First thing, you need to push the you need to power down the DVD player. And you need to push the power button. It's a physical button on the lower right hand corner on this model. You need to hold it down for 30 seconds. While you're doing that, have somebody unplug the router and power down the router. After 30 seconds to a minute, go ahead and power up the router and power up the DVD player. Turn on the player. Okay, obviously it's a Blu-ray disc player, not just a DVD player. Typical boot up sequence on mine. This one's a BDPBX59, but you may have the similar situation on other units. Okay, so this one's already been fixed. I'm not going to break it. I'm just going to show you the sequence. So you're going to go into setup. And you're going to go to resetting. This may not be necessary. And it cause, could it, you're going to lose all your settings. You're going to lose what you've previously seen, but if you really need to see Netflix, I did this to make it work. You can experiment, you can eliminate this step, but I went to resetting and I said sit, reset the factory defaults. I pushed that. They had me reset to, to initialize personal information. I did that. Okay, then we went ahead and we kept on the startup. Here's the important stuff. I went to network settings. I went to internet settings. Okay, so we set it up initially for wired setup. It's the same information for wired setup and for wireless setup. Take a peek. Don't press auto. Go to custom. Don't press auto. Go to specify IP address. Put these values in there. 192.168.15.120 for the IP address. You can see the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Default gateway 192.168.15.1. That's not what I had before. Here's, I think, is the important thing. Primary DNS and secondary DNS, these supposedly belong to Google. All eights and then 8844. I did that and the unit came back to life and I can now watch Netflix. Give it a try. That took me an hour with tech support to get that far, but it worked for my unit. So just a recap. Power down the unit. Power down your router. Hold down the button on the, on the Sony unit for 30 seconds to a minute. Power it up. Reset all the information. Go to the IP settings, the internet settings. Plug this in. You should be there. Give it a try. Good luck.